In this video, I'll show you how to speed up your WooCommerce checkout process in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce, it's currently free. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so the second step is to navigate to Plugins, Add New, Click upload plugin, go ahead and upload the file in which you just downloaded, install and activate. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here. Go ahead and click on it. And then for this video, we're gonna optimize our checkout process in a few ways, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna enable our direct checkout. So this is optional, depending on your business, you might not wanna um, enable direct checkout. So say for example, if users typically purchase more than one products at a time, then maybe it doesn't make sense to enable this okay so now when we navigate to our store page or even the product page instead of showing the add to cart button you'll see this buy now button so users can quickly click the buy now button and this will automatically redirect them to the checkout page okay and now the user can just go ahead and check out as a normal so we're going to take it a step further as well so one last point as well regarding um, the direct checkout so as I said, this is currently in beta mode. By the time you've um, downloaded this plugin, you'll see a few extra options. So for example, you'll be able, you'll have the option to customize the buy now text, and you'll have the option as well to show an add to cart button as well as a um, buy now button, which makes more sense to the users. So the second phase of optimizing our WooCommerce checkout process is we're gonna actually create a new checkout field. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new checkout form. Okay, so to further optimize our checkout process, I'm gonna remove um, a certain unnecessary field which aren't needed for our particular um, business. So for example, I'm gonna disable this um, company name field here. I'm also going to disable this apartment suite field here as well. I'm gonna move our phone number up here next to our email address. So for the billing details, users will enter in their email address, phone number, first name, last name, and so on. Um, same for the shipping field as well. Okay, so this is automatically disabled, which is great. And then we've got our payment option here as well. If we want to add any extra fields um, that we might need from our users. Okay, so for example, we can add a birthday field. So we'll just add this um, date picker here. And let's pop it right here. And then let's just rename it. So we'll say... Um, or we could say something like um, verify your age or something like that, right? And we'll also display this um, birthday field, maybe not on a thank you page, but we'll most definitely show it in um, the my order page in the admin and maybe in the user account page as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and X this off. So you can add multiple different um, fields to customize the checkout experience to cater more towards what you're selling. Okay, so I'm going to take this another step further. I want to simplify the process um, for our users. So I'm going to turn this checkout page into a multi-step checkout. Okay, so I'm going to add um, three steps. Okay, so that's two. And then let's add another one. And then for our second step, currently our second step's empty. We can add a new section, but I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop our shipping fields to step two. Okay. And here it is. So the first step is our billing information, second step, shipping information, and then the final step is our payment method. Okay, so I'm gonna rename this um, step as well. So I'm gonna say um, billing. And then for step two, I'm gonna rename this to say um, shipping. And then for the final step, we'll just say payment. Okay, then let's hit save. Well, before we save changes, let's navigate to settings and let's um, activate this checkout field. And we'll just name this one. We'll just say um, global um, checkout. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. And you've got a few um, conditions in future. There'll be more added as well. So you can create multiple different checkout flow for different user groups. So you can create one for your guest users, which are users logged out of your site for a specific role or a specific user. In future as well, you'll be able to add a different checkout um, based on different criteria, such as um, things added to cart, 
um, different um, countries and so on. Okay, so let's just hit save changes. And now when we visit um, a product page or a shop page, again, let's refresh this page. So instead of showing an add to cart button, they've got the buy now button. So it will take us directly to our checkout. So let's just go ahead and hit um, buy now. And here we are in our multi-step um, checkout flow. Currently this is showing as one, a single column. Okay, so the user will enter in their information. Just navigate to the next step. If we head back here, if we navigate to design, so again, this is currently in beta mode, but currently you've got the option to choose from a single column or two column in future as well. There'll be different um, designs for Elementor, Gutenberg, um, Divi and so on. Okay, but for now we've just kept everything super simple. So I'll just select um, two columns here. Let's hit save changes. And now instead of this being um, a single column checkout, we will see, so we'll see a two column um, multi-step checkout. Okay, so I mentioned about the design option. If you wanted to create a unique design in this very moment, you could actually do so. Okay, so if we click edit page, okay, we can remove this um, default WooCommerce checkout here. You can design a page as you would any other page. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit um, pattern here. And then I'm going to select a design that I like. So let's say, for example, this design here, right? And then if we X this off, okay, let's add a new block. So if we search for AIO checkout, and then just go ahead and click on this here, we'll get the option to select um, any one of our particular checkout. So I can select global here. And now when I update this and view page, Right, so we can see our new checkout design. Again, you'd want to customize this, so you'd probably add a nicer header, add some um, trust logos and so on, um, but hopefully you get the idea. So that's how I go about speeding up the checkout process for our customers. And that's just a few tips in speeding up the checkout process for your users in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.